from UFOs to possible. The best proof yet. Life on another planet. K218. For years, astronomers have peered into the outer reaches of our solar system, watching the gas giants with increasing scrutiny. But nothing could have prepared them for what the James Webb Space Telescope just revealed, a titanic collision involving Neptune, a gas giant cloaked in methane blue and one of the most mysterious planets in the solar system. The event, unfolding hundreds of millions of miles away from Earth, was not only dramatic but potentially paradigm-shifting. This wasn't just a minor impact from an icy rock or a wayward comet, this was something colossal, an object so massive that its interaction with Neptune sent shockwaves through the upper atmosphere and stirred up turbulence that could be seen even from Webb's remote vantage point. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The first indications came in the form of unexpected thermal anomalies. Neptune's upper atmosphere, typically characterized by cold temperatures and minimal fluctuation, began to exhibit sudden warming across a wide swath of its southern hemisphere. The JWST's powerful infrared sensors picked up what appeared to be intense heat signatures, patterns that seemed to radiate outward in turbulent streaks. These anomalies triggered a cascade of follow-up observations, and that's when the team noticed an enormous distortion near Neptune's equator. A disruption in the cloud layers, torn open in a gash-like formation spanning thousands of kilometers. As astronomers pored over the data, the implications became clearer. This wasn't just atmospheric instability or internal convective behavior. The structure and intensity of the disturbance pointed to something more dramatic, a high-velocity impact. Using time-lapse composites captured over several Neptune rotations, web scientists reconstructed the sequence. A dark, fast-moving object had approached the planet from the outer solar system, possibly from the Kuiper Belt, or even farther. It had entered Neptune's gravity well at an oblique angle and struck the atmosphere with unimaginable force. Unlike Earth or the rocky planets, Neptune doesn't have a solid surface, so the object didn't leave a crater. Instead, it penetrated deep into the gas layers, its kinetic energy converting into a massive atmospheric explosion that expanded and roiled through the hydrogen and helium envelope. The intensity was unlike anything seen since the Shoemaker-Levy 9 collision with Jupiter in 1994. But even that seemed to pale in comparison to what Webb detected now. The scale of the collision, based on the size of the atmospheric ripple and thermal bloom, suggested that the impactor could have been several hundred kilometers across, possibly the size of a small dwarf planet. The implications of such a collision are manifold. Firstly, it raises urgent questions about the population and dynamics of large, free-floating bodies in the outer solar system. If an object this large could find its way to Neptune, then the assumed safety zones around the outer planets may need to be recalculated. Planetary defense strategies, long centered around Earth-crossing asteroids, suddenly look narrowly focused. After all, Neptune is a gas giant with intense gravity, but what if a similar object were on a trajectory toward a planet like Mars or Earth? Then there's the question of how such a collision affects Neptune itself, unlike rocky planets whose geologies bear the scars of past impacts. Gas giants register collisions more subtly, but no less significantly. The impact created enormous vortexes in the cloud tops, much like Jupiter's great red spot, but even more short-lived and violent. These disturbances provided a rare opportunity to peer beneath the usually opaque cloud cover. Webb's infrared instruments picked up chemical signatures being dredged up from Neptune's lower layers. Gases like phosphine and complex hydrocarbons, previously unseen in such concentrations, now blooming across the atmosphere. This unintentional exposure gave scientists a precious glimpse into Neptune's deeper atmospheric chemistry, something they've been trying to study for decades with limited success. The chemical soup rising from the planet's belly was rich in clues about its internal composition and thermal gradients, helping refine long-standing models of gas giant formation and evolution. This wasn't just a spectacle, it was a scientific windfall. Additionally, the collision sparked electromagnetic anomalies. Neptune, known for having a wildly misaligned and rapidly rotating magnetic field, responded to the impact with sudden fluxes in magnetospheric activity. The planet's auroras, already mysterious and not fully understood, intensified to levels never previously recorded. These glowing polar lights shimmered in spectral hues far beyond visible light, 
Webb's infrared and near-infrared instruments capturing elaborate swirling patterns that hinted at deep interactions between the incoming object's mass and Neptune's magnetic sheath. What's perhaps most astounding is how quickly these anomalies unfolded and faded. Within just a few Earth days, the thermal bloom began to recede, the atmospheric scar started closing, and the electromagnetic activity returned to baseline. Neptune, a planet that rotates every 16 hours and is cloaked in violent winds, seemed to be healing at an astonishing rate, but even as the visible traces faded, the planet itself would never be the same. The energy injected into its upper atmosphere would likely have long-term effects on circulation patterns, jet stream stability, and even the structure of its faint ring system. Indeed, Webb detected a surprising consequence near the planet's inner ring arc, an observable disturbance in the ring's particulate alignment. Tiny ice and dust particles, which normally hover in near-static equilibrium, had shifted in unusual ways, implying that shockwaves from the impact propagated far beyond Neptune's cloud tops. The collision, then, was not just atmospheric, it reverberated through the whole Neptunian system. Some of Neptune's smaller moons, especially Nyad and Thalassa, showed positional jittering in their orbits, microscopic but measurable, and likely induced by gravitational flexing or resonance shifts from the planetary disturbance. And if moons were affected, what of the Kuiper Belt objects that hover beyond Neptune's orbit? The dynamics of the outer solar system are delicate a ballet of gravitational nudges and long-period orbits. Any large disruption in one body's equilibrium can cascade outward like ripples on a pond. Astronomers are now keeping an especially close eye on nearby trans-Neptunian objects such as Haumea and Makemake to see if their paths exhibit even minor perturbations. If they do, it could confirm that Neptune's sudden jolt had system-wide consequences. Of course, such a massive object arriving on a collision course raises deeper, almost existential questions. Where did it come from? And how many more of these titanic projectiles are floating in the dark, waiting for their chance encounter with a planetary body? While it's still too early to know for sure, one theory gaining traction is that the impactor originated from the Oort cloud, the icy shell of distant, slow-moving objects that encircles our solar system like a cosmic boundary. Disturbed by gravitational nudges from passing stars or interstellar currents, such an object might have been slowly falling toward the Sun for millions of years before its trajectory intersected Neptune's path. This idea is both awe-inspiring and unsettling. The Oort cloud is barely understood, and if even one of its residents could make its way into the heart of our planetary family, others could follow. It challenges our current understanding of orbital stability and solar system isolation. The solar system is not a sealed, inert space. It's porous, dynamic, and perhaps even fragile. For Neptune itself, the collision may also reset scientific assumptions about its internal heat. The gas giant has long puzzled scientists by emitting more heat than it receives from the Sun. This event, while external, might offer indirect answers. If similar impacts have occurred in the planet's deep past and gone unnoticed, then periodic injections of kinetic energy could be contributing to Neptune's persistent internal warmth. In other words, some of Neptune's unexplained thermal behavior might not be intrinsic at all, but the result of ancient cosmic violence. Beyond Neptune, the event redefines the role of the James Webb Space Telescope in planetary science. Initially designed primarily to peer into the early universe and analyze distant exoplanet atmospheres, Webb has now demonstrated its prowess as a guardian of our own solar system, capable of capturing planetary events with unmatched clarity. Its ability to operate beyond Earth's shadow, unhindered by atmospheric distortion and equipped with revolutionary optics, means it can witness and record cosmic dramas as they unfold, real-time, high-fidelity windows into the most dynamic moments of celestial evolution. The discovery also underscores how much there still is to learn about the distant reaches of our solar system. For all the probes and telescopes humanity has deployed, Neptune remains a largely uncharted frontier. Only one spacecraft, Voyager 2, has ever flown past it. And that was over three decades ago. With Webb's new revelations, interest in sending another dedicated mission to Neptune is surging. A new generation of scientists is calling for orbital reconnaissance, atmospheric sampling, and perhaps even landers on its moons. This event may serve as the ignition point for a whole new era of exploration. 
And while Neptune absorbed the impact without dramatic disintegration, no explosion, no fragmenting, the fact remains, our solar system is not as calm or predictable as it often seems. And above it all, the Webb telescope looked on, bearing silent witness to the magnificent and terrifying ballet of celestial motion. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on the giant collision James Webb detected on Neptune? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.